Uh, hello friends, in this video, we will see a, another problem related to the streams and ports. So the problem is like this, a boat takes 5 hours more, 5 hours more while going back, while going back in upstream than in downstream so that means actually the upstream takes 5 hours more than the downstream so if the distance if the distance between two places I mean the ups, the two places is 24 kilometers ok 24 kilometers and the speed of boat in still water is the speed of boat in still water is 5.5 kilometers per hour. So then we have to find what must be the what must be the speed of speed of boat in still water in still water so that so that it can row it can row downstream it can row downstream 24 kilometers in 4 hours 24 kilometers in 4 hours ok so a boat takes 5 more 5 more uh, 5 hours more while going back in upstream than in downstream so that means the time taken uh, to upstream minus the downstream is going to be equal to 5 hours is given so the time taken to travel upstream minus downstream is equal to 5 hours is given so the distance from A to B let us assume there are two positions are the A to B so the distance is given as how much uh, 24 kilometers is given ok so for example A to B it is taking x kilometers so then B to A it is taking x plus 5 kilometers I mean x plus 5 hours sorry to travel from A to B it is taking x hours then B to A it is taking x plus 5 hours ok so that is what this means the boat takes 5 hours more while going back in upstream then downstream so that is is given so right so this we know and uh, let us assume the here it is given that the speed of the boat in still water is given so that is b let us assume the boat of uh, speed of the boat in still water b is given that is 5.5 kilometers per hour so let us assume s is the speed of stream s is the speed of the stream this is S is the speed of stream. Okay. So A to B, the time taken to travel from A to B is A to B distance is 24, 24 by and A to B it is going in the form of down, downstream. So the downstream speed is going to be boats plus stream speed. Okay. So and this is the time taken to the downstream. Okay. And the time taken to the upstream is 24 by B minus S. Okay. So this is the time taken to the upstream. But according to the given question, so that the upstream time taken to the upstream minus downstream is 5 hours. Okay. Upstream uh, time taken to the upstream I minus uh, downstream is 5 hours. So upstream is 24 by B minus S. But B is given as 5.5. Let's write that part. 5.5. So minus S and minus downstream speed so that is 24 by b plus s b is 5.5 plus s is equal to 5 hours ok 5 hours so here 24 by 5.5 minus 5 i mean s minus 24 by 5.5 plus s is equal to 5 so by for, by solving this equation we will get s is equal to 2.5 2.5 kilometers per hour 2.5 kilometers per hour so where s is the actual speed of the stream 
so we know the speed of the stream and we know the uh, speed of the stream we know right okay so and it is also given that uh, what will be the speed of the boat in still water so that means actually we have to find the value of b okay b so that it can go downstream 24 kilometers in 4 hours so to to travel 24 kilometers in 4 hours right 4 hours so that means the speed is going to be 24 by 4 so that is going to be 6 kilometers per hour 6 kilometers per hour so this is the actually downstream speed he wants okay downstream speed he wants and we have must have to find the boat speed in still water so we know the stream speed and we know the downstream speed and we have to find the boat stream uh, i mean the speed of the boat in still stream so we know that downstream speed is equal to downstream speed is equal to boat speed in still water plus stream speed so downstream speed we have 6 kilometers per hour okay 6 kilometers per hour is equal to, we have to find the value of the b and as we got 2.5 so from this from this b is equal to 3.5 kilometers per hour so b is equal to 3.5 kilometers per hour so what should be the speed of the boat in still water so that is 3.5 kilometers per hour so that it can row downstream 24 kilometers in 4 hours okay so that it can row a uh, downstream 24 kilometers in 4 hours so i hope you got this one thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe my channel